Merry Christmas wishes and messages for good health from Ifechi Health and Wellness. Christmas is most awaited time of the year when everyone exchanges good wishes. Make this Christmas season a season full of Christmas greetings for good health. We have come to the end of the year 2023 and today is Christmas Day, 25th December 2023. Happy and blessed Christmas to each and every one of you. But there are things I want us to share. I want us to talk about this Christmas season. But first of all, let me start by wishing you and your family good health, never ending happiness, peace and prosperity this Christmas and the coming year. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. I can smell rice and stew and all those lovely. I remember when we were younger, we used to enjoy Christmas, look forward to Christmas, excited about the new things that our parents will buy for us. However, as I got older, even when I raised my own children, I know they were all so excited about Christmas. On Christmas morning, sometimes they wake up very early thinking that it's already morning just to open their presents. It's such a wonderful time, especially for young people, for children. However, it is a time of year that often puts pressure on us. Christmas could affect your mental health if you don't deal with it the right way. You can find it very stressful because of other events in your life around this period. Some people feel alone or left out because everyone else seems happy when they are not. I remember sometimes you ask people about Christmas. Oh, how are you getting ready for Christmas with all excitement, thinking that they, they will be as excited, but they're not. They will just ha sigh and say to you, what is there to celebrate? So when, as we celebrate, let us think about others. People, have, people are struggling during this period. Some people go OTT over the top to please their families, to please their spouses, to please themselves over this Christmas period. And it should not be so. It should not be so. Christmas should be a time of just having that celebration with your family, feeling happy and not putting too much pressure on yourself. I had a terrible news recently regarding somebody who was supposed to attend a Christmas event. But the person was like in a hurry to go to somewhere else because there are other things that he needed to attend to that day. He said, no, no, no. I wish I can join you for that Christmas uh, party or event, but no, I needed to do this, I need to complete that, I need to rush out to somewhere to get this and to get that. Lo and behold, sadly, as the person was rushing, driving, we don't know what happened, whether it was his fault or somebody else's, he had a massive accident and passed away right there. Those people who were at that Christmas party were still marrying and dancing when the news came to them that, that their colleague or friend, I can't remember now, the certain, had just passed away. And the friend that persuaded him to stay was so distraught 
and said, you are joking. He was rushing to somewhere. There are things he needed to sort out today. That's why he could not join us. So my lovely people, this is just one out of many sad stories around this period. People are rushing around. People are getting, think, think that they're getting their priorities right by rushing around to sort everything out for themselves and for their family. I pray for so that family, obviously. There's quite a number of families that lost their beloved ones this period. But for that particular person that came to my attention, just want to remember that person and ask and pray that God will console his family. It is not a time to, because it means that every Christmas the person will remember this. So, my message is, as we celebrate, let us also remember to avoid stress, avoid pressure. So as I said, festive holidays, her first Christmas period is not that happy or healthy for everyone because some people you know it means a link, a long list of um, list of gifts or things they have to do for their family so the tension increases i have a bit a few tips for people who find this period stressful try and reduce your financial stress tell your children or your family members what you that you can't afford such and such yes you don't have to be all things to all people and for your children teach them to understand that this christmas is not the same as other christmas that this christmas that you are struggling be open to them let them understand and don't try to please them with your credit card some people spend a lot of money on with their credit cards connect with your community stay off social media Try and cope with some financial com um, family conflicts. God, there's a lot during Christmas period for one thing or the other. But most importantly, let, teach your children to understand that they cannot get everything that they got last year because things have are not were not the same, especially here in Nigeria or back in back in um, in Africa as a whole. Lastly, don't drink too much. Don't drink and drive. It is not good for you. It is not good for others on the road because you may take your life and also take the life of others. Do not drink and drive. Once again, happy and blessed Christmas to all of you. Make sure that you celebrate wisely and don't go over the top and accumulate credit card that you cannot pay. Some people, especially in, our, in diaspora, so much use of credit card until the new year they will know what's up don't be in that situation merry christmas and we look forward to 2024 goodbye and god bless manage your mental health